We made it to an Arita dogfight, Carson Coffee. Uh, this is Vince, um, Ferrari build that he's doing. I just saw that he's, uh, I've been watching mostly his, um, sorry. It's gonna get old really quick, but um, yeah, so Narita Dogfight uh, was like, hey, bring out your race cars, cars and coffee. So uh, I don't know what to expect, to be honest with you. We'll see what we, we catch. Um, let me see. It's from 8 to 12, and uh, it's about 10 right now. Usually a little bit later than what I like to um, come in. But uh, the weather cleared up on my way from uh, interview. Uh, we interview uh, Dennis and his beautiful EK. That video will not be coming out till like maybe like three weeks from now. And so, you know, I, I definitely wanted to come out and support uh, Naria Dogfight because they, uh, they've they had a few events and I've never been able to attend one of them. And today I was like, well, if I if I can make it, I can make it. If not, I can't. Um, think about Southern California. There was another event, Hatch Attack. My well, buddies from Hatch Attack were, uh, are, man, look at that, JRZ's um, Reservoirs. Uh, Hatch Attack is also having a... Carson Coffee, man. So it's like California just has so many events, uh, and there's times that there's some weekends that there's nothing going on, and some weekends that there's just so many, so much going on. I know some of you guys really like to see the interior shots. I also love to see the interior shots, especially of track cars. Um, when they're super gutted, man. I, just, I don't know something about it. I just, I just, I gravitate towards that, you know. But that's just me. Very cool. And yeah, it's probably gonna be like. I don't know, Supras and things like that, but you guys know that I'm more into this type of thing. Uh, I'll be definitely trying to take as many pictures as I can possibly can. Uh, interview this fella a while back. So, it should be, now you're good, man. Should be a good time. Let me up my settings a little bit more. I was doing rollers earlier, so they're definitely not appropriate for here so there you go much much better cool so yeah we'll see what kind of cars uh again like i, I this is cool they're, they're really fast they're luxurious they look great i mean i'm sure those brakes and uh suspension pieces are worth more than a, than a honda Accord. but you know it's just it's, it's a little too new for me i guess i guess too comfortable man talk about those big dogs that's cool Beautiful S2000, man, for sure. Look at this. Oh my god, this is what I'm into. I don't care if this is low ish, right, compared to like um, the new, newer cars, but I just love the rawness. I love the fact that they don't wash them. The whole theme of it is race car, like literally race car and uh, coffee. So, yeah, bring out your race cars, you know, especially uh, I love the support from the community because it's supposed to be raining. Excuse me. But the fact that it's still raining and people came out with their cars, uh, it says a lot about, you know, people and how supportive they are here. So, I'll definitely try to get away from the music. My apologies, I didn't show these FDs. Um, I just don't want the music in the background just blaring left and right. So, like I, see, like I said, I'm going to be very, very picky about which cars I showcase. Um, I mean, don't take it personal. It's just, I like certain cars, certain looks, so. These cars are, man, I really like the Lexus uh, Altessas, right? I think they're either here, they're called IS something different. Um, hey just, man, are you a famous YouTuber? Nah, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> if I was famous, it would be like a, a what is it called? A meet and greet. It's gonna be a <laughs> meet and greet line. Uh, man, how you doing? This guy here? I don't have a cool Subaru. I like those wheels a lot. Nice wheels. That's cool. Oh, buddy, with beautiful TSX. See, I love this. I love this. This is this is my jam. Everything about this. It's so good. just love the aggressiveness now we interviewed this individual but on a, another TSX a silver one and that one I believe got into an accident so we ended up picking up another one I think he be I believe he went all the way to Arizona to pick this one up and it happens to be manual so that's cool and then he just um, changed everything all the turbo stuff from the previous one which was automatic to that one so um, 
nice to see the fact that um, he kept true to the TSX um, chassis. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, wow. It's like if, if I could have an 8th gen, this is it. This is it. Holy crap, the silver, everything matches perfectly. I love the mix match wheels. Man, what a freaking gem. Who owns this thing? The last fun SI. I'll say it, I don't care. Sorry if we drive 9th gens. Damn, look at how aggressive this car looks. Absolutely killer. Everything about this car. Big shout out to the homie uh, Alan from Fredo for Life. He just got his car sprayed. I thought it was this one, to be honest with you. But no, I think he has a different front end. He had a silver, he has different wheels. That's the only thing that's keeping me from thinking that it's this. But uh, he did a silver, so it's cool. Hopefully we get to uh, catch up with him soon. But man, this thing is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful car. It's beautiful, it's a thousand hardtop. Now those wheels, I know, I think they're, are they Mugen? I don't know, uh, I've seen them around. I don't know the, the actual brand. Forge Titan 7, sorry. Um, I don't know, I confused them with some Mugen wheels. Super cool. Love the livery on this as well. Nice front end. Man. GT4 is leaving. Civic, they're already making parts for it. That's cool. That's interesting. I don't know. I think I like the, the white and the black. They really cute. That's interesting. Success Garage, nice, cool. E46 right here. Bramble brakes, front and back. I'm assuming. Yep. Beautiful wheels, beautiful matte blue with the white. It just flows very, very nicely. Now one of my favorite generations, if not my favorite M3. Between this and the F80, just, just so good, just so good. So like I said, it's already 10. It's already like 10.30, so a lot of people are leaving already. You know, they're early birds like myself. Um, love it. We've seen this one at a couple of different places with the JTCC Margo Hills wing. And um, yeah, man, I like uh, how chill it is. It's actually pretty uh, pretty fun, the fact that I made it out. Um, it's a, it was on the way home. Maybe like a little bit, 50 minute, you know, detour, but not, not, nothing too crazy. And I love that the weather cleared up very nicely. So, again, the organizers are these guys right here, Dogfight. Um, I believe they host track track days. Um, I know they have apparel and things like that. They've been at it for a bit. Ooh, this is cool. Mix match wheels. You're good, man. Thank you. Ah, I love fits. I love fits. Fits. Oh, it's gutted. Oh, yes. Beautiful. I wonder what kind of motor it has. If he kept the OG or did he swap something? Absolutely love, love, love the mix match. I love how the bottom lips are wrapping them different color. Very nice. Again, there's like R33s and R34s, like that white one right there. It's amazing. Beautiful. But I'm all stuck on this on the Civics. Oh man, it's nice. It's cool. I can smell the money. I can smell the money. <laughs> R34 
Nice. Look at this mixed match civic though. <laughs> That's what I like. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful towards anybody. I just like these budget cars. I like, I don't know. Especially cars that have like um, character to them. I'm all for it. Like the broken rear bumpers. Like who cares if the car's fun and he's driving it. That's what matters. Very nice. I dig it. Very cool. Uh, R33, don't know what I'm staring at. Nice color. I don't know if they made them. I don't know if this is an OEM color for this generation. This is cool. Big old motor. Very nice. Very nice pieces. All the, all the plumbing has been redone. Tome. Very nice. Very nice. A lot of carbon fiber pieces too. Oh, nice carbon fiber window visors. Beautiful. Very nice interior. These OEM seats, because if they are, wow, they're very, very aggressive. I love how people always want to leave the, the place wherever the, the, the media is, you know, doing a pool. And don't get me wrong, I like pools, but it just brings the spot down. And people just don't tend to realize that, hey, you enjoy yourself here? You want to come back? Don't do that. But it is what it is. This is amazing. I love it. Oh my God, a shifter. Holy crap. Look at this. I'm thinking, is this our buddy that we interview? It almost looks like it might be. Well, we interviewed him on his Civic EK. Not on his evil. He had an evil. I don't think it's this one. But damn. Shoot, that thing is beautiful. So definitely my jam. That thing is gorgeous. Very, very aggressive. A couple more S two thousands here. Man. Beautiful. Couple R30. I like Skylines. I, I, I mean, I don't know if maybe I just be critical, but there's a lot of Skylines nowadays. Granted, yes, in other parts of the country, we don't have, you guys don't have Skylines. I get it. I'm just saying, I mean, I'm not trying to pretend like they're like Civics, but I'm just seeing a lot of Skylines now. It's cool. Jesus. I'm a sucker for the GTs for sure. Clear headlights as well. Man. So pretty. So, so pretty. T's on anything looks good. Such as this. 86 Very very nice Now let me give your uh, Let me give you guys this take What do you guys think about cars that have a lot of aggressive aero But they don't have the power Necessarily to back it up Do you guys feel like that's just Overkill Or do you guys feel like well if there's a purpose for it the power that you do have on oh, nice fit um if there's if there's a purpose obviously for the the arrow that you guys do but the car let's say is not pushing let's say even stock even a stock car do you guys have an issue with that or do you guys think that if you're gonna add so much arrow the power needs there it has to be there to back it up what do you guys think the reason i ask is because i per i I really like the, the aggressiveness on um, just you know wider fenders and ho hood scoops and you know just different things like that um, that are supposed to help out with um, aerodynamics, drag, name it. Sick. Can't imagine living here. Um, and so 
how, how do you guys feel about that? Do, or do you guys prefer a car that has more power, even if it doesn't have all these crazy arrow? Me personally, I don't mind a car that's underpowered with a lot of arrow. Why? Because one, I guess I like the way to look at it. To, to look at it. Maybe that's not the, the, the most, you know, smart reason to. Oh, this is sick. But two, if it does have some type of, you know, functionality, it should be helping you, right? Even if the car is really, really slow or stock, it should be helping you. It's no different than saying, well, why would you put coilovers and good set of tires on a stock car? Because it does help you. And it also makes the car look nicer, in my opinion. So, I don't know, if I had to, uh, I, at least me personally, I don't mind a car that has a lot of aero, even though it, it may be underpowered. Um, but I wanna hear your thoughts. Just because I saw some cars that had a lot of aero and I'm like, well, they may not be the fastest, but I personally like the way they look. I see a white car theme line here going on. Very cool to see Type R. The perfect set of wheels for it as well. This interview on uh, FL5 like this will be coming up shortly. Ooh. And BBS wheels always go extremely well with any BMW. Very, very nice. So yeah, I got packed, man. So many, uh, oh, see, this is what I mean. I love, I, I think I know that my favorite part is like these little, you know, vents on the fender. Like, I, that's, I think I, I, I narrowed it down. Plus a badass cage like this. Interior. Man, such, so well done. Perfect stance on these cars too. Look at this. Look at that. Oh yeah. That's my favorite part. And I wouldn't care these cars. Obviously M3's V8s are fast. Clearly. But like if this car was stock, who cares? It adds to the rawness of the car. Very aggressive. Very good looking car. And white cars, eh, like I've always told you guys, they look, they look good. They look good with everything. But Very nice. A lot of very... Let's see what we have inside, sorry. I saw this uh, S chassis right here. It grabbed my attention right off the bat. Holy crap, wow. Things immaculate. So once again, thank you to Narita Dogfight for hosting this amazing Carson Coffee. Mixed match wheels, you guys know how I feel about that. A little crowd in here. Let's see. They have a set of red cars inside, which is cool. Let me see if I can somehow fit over here, which I don't know if I will be able to. Be careful with my camera, I don't want to scratch anything. I was like, oh, this is like. I'm nice like... 86. It seems very subtle from the outside. Very nice wheels. I personally, I, I own a super. I own. A Subaru STI and I really like the boxer the way the boxer engine felt is it the most reliable no can you get the most power out of it no but I really like the way the car drove with the um, with with that engine uh, you definitely do feel a difference it's just the center the center of gravity is so much lower and it's a good, good feeling and obviously you get the rumble with it sorry about that you get the rumble with it and it's cool a big old dog look at that it's like a, the size of a Civic right there it's dope crazy but yep yeah, very cool let's uh let me get out of here let's see where we're going next before the dog attacks me what's up hey what's up man how you doing what's your name uh josh josh what do you drive uh actor csx mm, okay that's cool okay uh, I mean, i'll show you a picture real quick yeah hell yeah it's practically an accord. It is, it is. A better. Uh, right here. I got a oh, hell yeah! Oh, I like that. I like a time attack type well, but You're in the right spot. Yeah. You're in the right spot. I love, you love race cars. Bro, I, race cars. yeah, this is like my favorite like time attack uh, style. It's absolutely my favorite. Really? Thing. I thought you were like more like low rider types. 
like stands a little bit. Like, I know you like a lot. I like lowriders, but at the same time, I just love like time attack. Like that's like the wider fenders, but the fence, like that's my favorite, man. Yeah, I'll watch your video, man. Uh, I appreciate that, man. Nice to meet you, John. Shout out to John with his TSX. That's cool. All right, well, very, very cool cars. Uh, definitely, um, like I said, the odd set. Don't leave, you know, burnouts. Don't do crazy like that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm getting old. Maybe I'm the old person. Maybe I'm the one on the wrong. But I just feel like, dude, come on. Don't burn out the spot. This is a shot. It is what it is. Maybe I am getting old. Oh, well, let me take some more pictures of this beautiful car because this one is one of my favorites. The supercharger. Nothing like them losing control and hitting one of the cars on the side. It's ridiculous. I'm old, I guess.